Welcome back to Newsmakers from your local election headquarters. Jane Ann Bugda along with Andy Mahalshik. In this segment, we are joined by Dr. David Sosar and David Yonkai. David's from the LULAC uh, Political Letter blog. Um, David Sosar, uh, professor at King's College. They join us during the election uh, period to talk about the races. And tonight we are talking about the a race for Attorney General. Yes. Um, John Rafferty, the Republican. Josh Shapiro, the Democrat. Uh, we just heard from both candidates. Dates. And is this a race that is kind of lost in the shuffle because of the pencil, because of the presidential race? What do you think? Well, I think it's lost in the shuffle in the sense that the presidential race is, uh, is one of the biggest things going on in the state. But I think Kathleen Kane and the indictment and the conviction uh, basically kind of has overshadowed that. But it's given, I think, voters a relief. So that I think that if you're a Democrat, you might be voting for the Democratic candidate. If you're a Republican, you're going to vote for the Republican candidate, Rafferty. I still think that Rafferty is going to win this because I don't think a Democrat is going to come near this office just because of you know the scandal that happened with um, you know Kathleen Kane. And um, I think that I and I don't see a lot of presence for Josh Shapiro. Josh Shapiro's only hope, I believe, is to carry big majorities in Philadelphia. But can he? do that when the race in Pennsylvania is so yeah. close with Trump and Clinton. I think the, the Clinton people are, are, are going to try to actually pull their own majorities and not worry about the down ballot races. Doctor, what do you think? Yeah, I, 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 I do think that the, the Attorney General's race has become an afterthought. Yeah. You're right. Uh, what happened is that uh, the, the Kane problem got settled. People walked away from the Attorney General's position. Uh, they're not really even thinking about it that much right now. I've listened to both candidates. Uh, Josh Shapiro is a wonderful man. Yes. Uh, well spoken. Uh, has a great presence to him when you when you're there in a room and you hear him. Uh, unfortunately, and it is early. I will admit. I think, and, and you might you might agree with me, Dave, that that for actually the kind of money that you need to spend on that kind of race in comparison to some of the other races we're talking about. But right now, they should be getting things out. They should be getting their signs. They should be getting their ads out. They should be getting all the things that need to be done to put yourself front uh, uh, front and center. I don't see that happening with uh, Josh Shapiro. Um, um, on the other hand, um, um, and help me out, I'm having a, I'm having a with lapse. With Mr. Rafferty? Uh, with Mr. Rafferty. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Rafferty doesn't really have to as much. He's got so much support. Everybody and his brother has lined up as far as the unions, the, pol uh, the police, uh, the justice uh, organizations, you name it, have all joined in support. They don't even have to run that much of an ad. The, he's that well known. Yeah. And he's that well supported. And I think that's part of what's going to make a difference here. Do you think in, in, in recent years that people also looked at the Attorney General's race as a an audition to be governor? And Rafferty made an interesting comment. He said, I'm mm -hmm. not here to run for mm -hmm. governor. Mm -hmm. I want to be AG. What about that analysis? Rafferty has been saying that since, you know, he started to run. Uh, at the Republican, Luzerne County Republican dinner, he stood up there and said, breakfast rather, the Lincoln Day breakfast. He stood up and saying, I am not interested in running for governor. I'm going to do my eight years as attorney general, and I want to fix the office. And that resonated. And I think that resonates with a lot of Democrats, too. And if you're looking for people who are uh, uh, really and honestly looking for a public servant, that rings so well. This is what I want, and I want to serve you. I want to help you, and I want to get the integrity, and I want to get the work of the Attorney General's office back. Now, very seldom do you really hear about the Attorney General until somebody has a problem, whether it be in government, or they have a problem uh, that is so large on a personal basis. I've got to get in touch with, with somebody in government who is at the Attorney General, oftentimes. Uh, that's what it's thought about. Otherwise, it, 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 it's a hidden office. But if that's the kind of person that you're going to have for that, God bless. And I think that's what a lot of people are, are saying and doing. And you made an interesting um, comment there about, you know, advertising and spending on yes. this race. And there really haven't been, right now, much of an attack on each other or that it's kind of a just doing their own thing. Do you think that, you think that will change or maybe... 
I don't know what they could say about each mm -hmm. other except that, you know, Shapiro was the county commissioner. Could they dig up something about what he did in terms of taxes or whatever? I mean, that wouldn't resonate because, you know, you're talking about law and order, you know? So, I don't know. We'll have to see. It depends on, you know, how the ad budgets go. And again, I'll, I will go back to what we were talking about uh, at one time before. The, uh, neither one can really expect to have any kind of support from the top. There's yeah. not going to be a great deal of just straight party ticket voting this time because the tops of the tickets are 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 uh, positioned such so that they really have to uh, run their own campaign. And that means Shapiro and that means uh, Rafferty have to do it all on their own. Yeah. And if you missed their uh, comments, uh, Mr. Rafferty and Mr. Shapiro, you can see them on pahomepage.com or under the Newsmakers link for David Sosar, David Yonkai, and Andy Mahalshik. I'm Jane Ambugda. We want to thank you for making Newsmakers from your local election headquarters part of your day, and we'll talk again next time.